Hey guys, Lady Lynn here from thehairbowmarket.com. Um, we are going to make a super simple stacked bow tie bow. I uh, needed just a couple things. We need needle and thread, a lighter to seal the ends of the ribbon, scissors, hot glue gun, um, and your alligator clip. Then we're going to have three different pieces of ribbon. This one is a 1.5 inch times 9 inches. This is 7 8 inch wide ribbon by 8 inches long. And this is 3 8 inch ribbon, uh, wide ribbon by 2 and a half inches long. Okay, we are going to start with our 1.5 inch wide ribbon. And we're going to fold it in half and make a little crease right in the center here. And then take the ends and put them overlapping about one inch and then find the center of that and line it up with the center of the crease that you just made. Okay, and then hold that and if you need help holding it you can always use your clip to hold on to it as well uh, so it won't come apart. Take your needle and thread and you are going to start at the end here and we're going to go through the top, come back up, down, and then back up. So you have a double crease in the middle there. And then your needle should be right through the center, so put your fingers real close to that needle there uh, to hold your center place and pull it through by cinching this together and leaving a little tail here. You can hold on to it with your fingers there wrap it around a couple times and then tie it off here just make a nice good knot back here double knot it so it stays and then go ahead and trim that so we've got our bottom bow to our bow tie stacked bow here already and you can kind of move this a little to make sure both sides are even so that's pretty even all right, now we're gonna take this bow, or this ribbon, and do the same thing. So you're just gonna fold it in half, crease it really good, and um, to make sure this one holds its crease really good, because it's a little bit of a thicker ribbon, um, you can just like run your lighter across it real lightly and, and crease it, and that'll give you a nice good crease that you can see. And also, um, I've already done this, but on your ribbons, uh, after you've cut your ribbons to size, just seal the ends like this. That way they don't fray. Um, I've already done mine, like I said, so that's why I didn't do them before. Um, but anyways, go ahead and do the same thing with this. We'll op overlap them about an inch. Take the center of that overlap and line it up with your center crease right here. Then take your needle and thread. I like to use embroidery floss because it's nice and thick and uh, holds really well. It's really great for pulling and tying too. So do the same thing. Just go through two times and while it's on the needle push these two pieces together so you get that center crease. Put your needle through, wrap it around a couple times and then tie it off. Yeah getting a little short. I don't want to poke myself with the needle while I'm tying this. There we go. Get a good little double knot going in there and then trim that. Okay. Now we've got our base part and then the part we're going to put on top of it and you can go ahead and put a little dot of glue on the back of your 7 8 inch ribbon bow and put it right in the center of this one. Okay, so already it's looking like a pretty good bow here. Now what we're going to do is take this piece here and we're going to put our backing on. So, we can start by taking your backing and see this part that kind of goes up right here. Um, that's going to be the part that goes against the bow if you're using this type of alligator clip. If you have one that's flat, the one with the teeth, then um, just make sure that the top part that has the teeth on it goes first. So anyways, you're going to put this in between like this, let it hold it, and turn it over and put a little bit of glue right there. 
and then put that in the center of your bow back here on the back part and then take once that's you know set take this and wrap it around this will cover that center piece so you don't see the two stacks and it doesn't look all messy like this wrap it all the way around and then you're gonna want to trim it to where it just ends right here so I'm gonna trim it like that and since I've got it cut I'm gonna need to seal it again so take your lighter seal it okay now that I've got it sized you're gonna let it come back a little bit put your dot of glue on there on the end open up your clip and push that down and then you can let your clip hold it in place and there you go you have a very simple stacked bow tie bow on an alligator clip that's all there is to it Thank you for watching my short video, and uh, once the website is up and running, I hope that you will visit theherbowmarket.com.